We're in a lifetime here to give a study this morning, and the study will be God's elect in the land of Goshen. And God said unto Jacob, Arise as to stand, establish, stir up, go up as to ascend, not down uh, as to descend, as to Egypt. Uh, and the Lord uh, appeared unto him and said, Go not down as to descend into Egypt, um, the perverse, as in the perverse spirit of lies and deceit. Dwell as to abide, uh, inhabit, uh, rest in the land, which I shall tell thee of. The celestial stars that ascend and descend, we are, to dis, uh, de, uh, we are um, not to descend. If we do, that will be lies and deceit of the perverse spirit. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there. Bethel is the spiritual house of the Lord. And make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thy fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. These being the twins in the one womb, um, um, as uh, meaning nations that fight against each other. One, the fleshly desires... Uh, serving of their fleshly father in the other that will come forth at their appointed time in the spirit um, we're going to uh, read Genesis 28 and God went out I mean and Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran and he lighted upon a certain place, and he tarried there all night, because the sun was set. And he took of the stones, um, these being the lively stones, of that place, and he put them for his pillows, uh, meaning a headpiece, a, um, a ceremonial headpiece that a priest wears. And he lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder, which is uh, as a staircase, uh, set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thy liest to thee will I give it unto thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thy shall spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee. And I will keep thee in all places, whether thy goest, and bring thee again into this land. Um, thy seed, uh, in verse 14, will be as the dust of the earth. It will, uh, he's still Jacob. Uh, Jacob, uh, meaning heel grabber. He's grabbing onto a man's heel. But they will come again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, and said How dreadful is this place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. This um, Mount Moriah is the gate of heaven to the celestial. And Jacob rose up early in the morning, and he took the stone that he had made for his pillows, and he set it up for a pillar, and he poured oil upon the top of it, and he called the name of that place Bethel, um, meaning house of God. But the name of that city was called Luz uh, at the first. Um, this will bring the separation. And I will sever in that day, this day being the Lord's day, the last five months, the last two and a half months of the five months is when I am come forth. He will come to the two witnesses first. And the two witnesses will present I am to the elect, and then the elect will present I am to the 144,000. Uh, the land of Goshen. When Jacob uh, discovered his son uh, Joseph was alive in Egypt, he and his sons moved there to be with him, Joseph being a type of the two witnesses that will present I am, um, Bethel. And when they got to Egypt, Joseph, Joseph provided the best of all the land for them to live on. God's elect will live in Egypt, um, Babylon, um, but will be nourished by the two witnesses, Um they will come out as a rubble, meaning, meaning Babel, born out of Babel. It was a place uh, where those who um, 
believed in God, uh, Israel, he will rule as God over Pharaoh, the man king. The Hebrew word for Goshen means to draw near. Joseph told his brothers that they should live in Goshen so they and all that they had would be near him. Goshen was located near, jo near Joseph so he could watch over them and care for them. It was important that they stayed in Goshen because it was the land of provision, blessings, and um, protector. When the plagues hit the land, there was a distinction between the people of God and the people of the world. The people of God were protected, and those in the uh, perverse spirit of Egypt were, uh, were not. It is by faith we are protected by his grace, led out of danger into a safe place. I shall bring them and plant them in the mountain of thy inheritance, and in the place, O Lord, uh, which thy has made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands have established. And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them, and I will dwell among the children of Israel, and I will be their God, and they shall know that I am the Lord, their God, that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord, their God. You have to come out of Egypt first, Egypt being of the perverse spirit of lies and deceit that have them in bondage to Pharaoh, the man king, serving him. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. There will be the two kings. There will be no gray in the last two and a half months when I am comes forth. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long hout y'all between two opinions, as in divided in mine? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if he be Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. And we're going to go to John 19, um, verses 1 through 15. And then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plotted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe, and they said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they smote him with their hands. He's King of kings and Lord of lords. Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. Then Jesus came forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said unto them, Behold the man. He's not just a man, he is Christ, the Son of God. When the chief priest, therefore, and the officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And Pilate said unto them, Take you him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. And the Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. He didn't make himself, um, God did. And when Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was more afraid, and he went again into the judgment hall and says unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Jesus only will answer to his he heavenly Father. Then said Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou that not that I have the power to, to uh, crucify thee and have power to release thee? And Jesus answered, Thy couldst have no power at all against me, except it was given um, thee from above. Therefore he that delivereth me unto thee has the greater sin. They have no power over him. All power and authority comes from God, and he is the Son of God. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. And when Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth, and he sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover about the sixth hour. And they said unto the, he says unto the Jews, Behold your king. A king means a sovereign foundation of power as in supreme ruler. And, but they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. And Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify your king? And the chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. They had a choice to choose Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was all sovereign power. As the king of kings and the lord of lords are choose the man king and they chose um the man king um wherefore uh, you shall do my statutes and keep my judgments and do them and you shall dwell in the land and safely safety if 
um, if, he says, um, there is a condition. And we're going to go to Genesis 17, uh, starting with verse 9. And God said unto Abraham, Thy shall keep my covenant, therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised, and you shall circumcise the flesh of your, of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant between me and you. He that is eight days uh, year, uh, years old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, are bought with money of any stranger which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off. From his people, he has broken on uh, my covenant. And we know that covenant uh, of circumcision is your heart. You must needs be circumcised as um, in the heart. Um, and I'm going to go to Ezekiel 5, um, starting with verse 1. And thy son of man... Take thee a sharp knife, and take thee a barber's razor, and cause it to pass upon thy head and upon thy beard. Then take th um, thee balances to weigh and divide the hair. Knife meaning um, drought, also a, um, a cutting instrument from its destructive effect. A razor as in making something bare. Uh, calls it to pass as to cross over, pass over upon thy head as in a time, place, or rank. Um, child, um, a chief as in um, the firstborn, um, beard as an in indicating of age, balances as in a dual scale, and divide by a smooth stone used for lots as to separate. Uh, two, thy shall burn with fire a third part in the midst of the city when the days of the siege are fulfilled, and thy shall take a third part and smite upon about it with a knife, and a third part thy shall scatter in the wind, and I will draw out a sword uh, after them. Um, I'm going to go to Revelation um, 8. Um, this being a third taken by um, Wormwood. Um, I'm going to go to Revelation 8. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the mountains, fountains of waters, and the name of that star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because uh, they were made um, bitter. A great star, as it were a lamp, as to illuminate. This star is the evening star of Venus, the false light. And thy, sh thy shall also take thereof a few in number and bind them in thy skirts. Um, and, when thy, and when they were gone over, God's children will go over. They came into the land of um, Ges uh, uh, Nesaret, meaning a garden, of, a garden on the soil by fertile, being fertile, uh, called uh, the paradise, paradise of Galilee, uh, meaning a circuit as to compass. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, this being I am, they went out into all that country round about, and they brought unto him all that were diseased as in the flesh, and, bes and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And many as touched were made perfectly whole. Uh, the bells on the hem of the priestly garment, this is what you will hear when you're visited, uh, as your signal uh, for the marriage. Uh, you will hear like church bells. They will ring twice as a double witness. This is your invitation to let you know that he is there. This is your high priest. The high priest had bells on the bottom of their robe, their priestly robe. You will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him. This is the quickening, making you spiritually alive, where you can be able to see and hear spiritually. 
Uh, if you see this um, man with this breath being blown on him, this will let you know that you have been anointed in the Levitical priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek. He uh, himself is the one that will anoint his Levitical priesthood of the end days. Uh, four, then take of them again and cast them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire for therefore shall a fire come forth into all the house of Israel. This is the cleansing fire of truth. Thus say the Lord God, this is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of the nations, nations and countries that are round about her. Jerusalem being a condition of truth, not a geographical area. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth on the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Um, shall be around about her as in the heathen circuit. Um, they are in the land of um, um, Gennesaret. Um, six and she has changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations and my statues more than the countries that are round about her for they refused my judgments and my statues they have not walked in them this being judah that is supposed to stand for truth um, being circumcised taking off the flesh they walk in their own ways not on um, the one way in the last five months it will only be one way and one mouth and the lord shall be king over all the earth in that day there shall be one lord in his name one uh, she as in that harlot that brings the perversion uh, revelation 17 uh, one through six and there there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me saying unto me come hither and i will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon um many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and i saw a woman sitting upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth and i saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of jesus and when i saw her i wondered with great uh, admiration uh, and then seven Therefore, thus say the Lord God, because you multiplied more than the nations that are round about you and have not walked in my statues, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you. Therefore, thus say the Lord God, behold, I even I am against thee and I will execute judgments in the midst of thee and the sight of the nations and I will do in thee that which I have not done, and whereunto I will not do any more of the like, because of all thy abominations. Therefore the father shall eat the sons in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgments in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter into all uh, the winds. When the four winds are released, God's Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth. It will only be in those that have taken of the marriage, eat as to consume this being the fleshly fathers not the heavenly father 11 wherefore as i live says the lord god surely because thy has defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things and with all abominations therefore will i also diminish thee neither shall my eye spare neither will i have uh, any pit, um, pity the wedding uh, chamber door will be closed uh, to you um, Matthew 22, um, 1. And Jesus answered and spoke unto them again um, by parables and said, uh, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. And he sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. 
And again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways. We are to walk in his ways, one to his farm, and another to his merchandise. Um, as, as in teachings and the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them and when the king heard thereof he was wroth and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city then says he to his servants the wedding is ready but that they which were bidden were not worthy go you therefore into the highways and as many as you shall find bid to the marriage so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good and the wedding was furnished with guests and when the king came in to see the guest he saw there was a man uh, which had not on a wedding garment and he said unto him friend how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment and he was speechless it was a man as in a flesh man he did not remove um that um the flesh man and 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 be in the spirit you cannot approach the lord in, in the flesh then said the king to the servants bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness there shall shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called but few are chosen because they will refuse the invitation um and so uh Let me go back to Exodus 5. And that was 11. 12. And a third part of these shall die with the pestilence, and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee, and a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee, and I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. Thus, thus shall my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal when I have accomplished my fury in them. Moreover, I will make thee waste and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt and an instruction and astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee. In anger and in fury and in furious rebukes, I the Lord have spoken it. When I shall send upon them the evil errors of famine, which shall be for their destruction and which i will send to destroy you and i will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread the famine for truth and break your staff of bread judah is supposed to protect and guard the throne the word of god and he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood and his name is called uh, the word of god um, revelation uh, 19 11 through 18 And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many uh, crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, and he hath on his vesture, and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. We are to be on watch for the visitation. It is time for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, uh, the dove. And he stayed yet another seven days and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark and the dove came uh, into him in in the evening and lo in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off so no one knew that the waters were abated from off the earth 
seven days seven dimension of time when the seventh day man is to come forth out of its prison of flesh the divinely appointed time let the word of christ meaning christos the anointed one dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and uh, and um, singing with grace in your hearts to the lord for it pleases the father as in um, the heavenly father that in him should all fullness um, dwell um, and that will be the um, the end for um, today elect you have a great day until the morning